Hello everybody and welcome back to DJP to a planner setup video. For today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about how I'm going to use this planner as a work planner. So if you remember from my haul review of this, um, of this planner, I got this planner from Joann's where I discovered that Joann's has different planners from Michael's and it opened up a whole new world for me. Um, yeah, so I'll definitely be, um, they have a lot more sticker, um, more sticker variety than Michael does as far as like the happy planner is concerned. That was really exciting. But anyway, um, another side note is the guts of this planner are from, are the guts from a memory making planner, which was the one with the, um, it was the lime, not, not lime green. The, it was green with like the different stuff on the front, the strawberries, um, the, the watermelon, all the other stuff, the fun, the, the really, really fun looking planner. These are the guts of that planner because I wanted a monthly layout for my work planner versus a dashboard layout. So just in case you're wondering when I go through this and you're like, that's not the guts of that planner. You're exactly right. It's not. <laughs> so the goal of this planner is to have fun making money. I have an Etsy shop that I just took a break from just to get just took a six month break from um and it's time for me to blow the dust off of it time for me to open it back up well it's still open but you know time for me to get back to it and um i didn't want to put my put any stress on myself to not stress um i didn't want to put the priority of making money above the priority of having fun making money because having an etchy shop it's a creative endeavor i mean it's a business obviously but it's a creative endeavor and I knew if I put the priority of making money, strictly making money before the priority of being creative and having fun with it, then it was just gonna stress me out, burn me out, and I just wasn't gonna do it, but I want to do it. So this is my way of getting around that. The goal is to have fun making money. So any goals I deal with in regards to um, monthly goals will always be centered around this, this main goal. So for this year to glance page, I'm going to be using this to denote any work vacations that I'm going to be taking, product release days, and holidays. So holidays because um, if I want to release a product in relation to that holiday, I can kind of, you know, come back here and look and be like, oh, this is coming up. So I want, there's a holiday here, so I want to put, I want to release a product right here. And of course, this is January 2021 is already gone, but you understand what I'm saying. Um, for the yearly index, I already have things things on sticky notes here that are um, month specific, so I don't want to show you those quite yet because it's basically the products that I plan to release. So I don't I don't want to show you that quite yet. Um, and I didn't want to take the sticky notes off because, well, they're month specific and there are a lot of sticky notes. So just know that that's what that page is going to be used for, or that section rather. All right, now the currently page is going to be used for product release dates that I'm going to transfer from the year to glance and then notes for next month. So very simple. I'm going to use this, this section as is and then product release dates will go here and then notes for next month will go here. Actually, no. That's no. Hmm. I don't know. Notes for next month. And ideas will probably go here and their product release dates will probably go here but I don't have to have that decided right now just know that product release dates are gonna go oh okay stats yeah okay so I was having a little trouble with this page as you can see um, stats are gonna go somewhere too but you're gonna go where probably right here all right for the month at a glance I'm going to be using this to track my daily publishing goals I'm gonna hit publish on something every day um, I learned that from Michelle Rohr and actually not every day, just Monday through Friday. And then I'm going to have a brain dump of things to publish, things to hit publish on. And then I'm going to have an income tracker, which will probably be like down here, um, down here in the box somewhere. And then I'll probably just highlight it. And then what does it say? Daily goals after the fact. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to have daily goals in here or daily, my daily hit list, but it'll be after the fact. So after the day is over, um, cause I might not want to necessarily like work on what it is that I plan to work on that day. So after the day's over, I'll write down what I hit publish on that way to help keep track of that. 
and then here for this page i actually forgot this page was in the monthly setup so um it kind of threw me off a little bit but i'm going to use this page as it is except this part so this part originally said thankful for i'm not going to use it for that i'm going to use it for wins this month just to kind of help to encourage myself and motivate me um to keep going and to keep working but everything else though i'm going to use it as is as it relates to um what i'm doing with the shop etc so trackers checking it off notes to self monthly goals jot it down i'll use it as is and um as far as like the particulars of what i'm going to write in each section with the exception of this monthly goals obviously um i'll kind of figure that out as i as i get to it and then i think this is my fate well you know what I think this might be my favorite part of the planner. This is like my second favorite part um, because it's just basically a running to-do list. At the heart of my planning, I am a to-do list kind of girl. And um, this is just oh, this is just right on my alley. So basically this whole section is gonna be a running to-do list by product and platform and content. So um, I haven't decided if I wanna label it like product to-dos, platform to-dos, depend like you know um etsy or, or youtube or something like that i haven't decided how i want to label it or if i just want to bunch all the tasks together and just call it a day and then throughout the month i will work on um what the task i will work on the checklist and kind of check it off as i go so yeah and then get two pages of that and then the take the notes page that's last this is gonna be my content calendar so anything i plan to release um or put out or hit publish on in that month is gonna go right here then for extra pages i have an income tracker that's gonna go um that's gonna be transferred throughout each month i have my overall goals for the business um or my business endeavors in general and then i have inspirational quotes and notes and so all these pages will go throughout each month and that's all for my work um my work planner you guys so if you like this video hit the like button if you want to keep in touch hit the subscribe button if you really want to keep in touch hit the notification bell and i will see you guys next time bye